The uh, first of two ground umbilicals will retract uh, from the side of the vehicle at about the T-minus 35 second mark. That will uh, initiate auto sequence start. Vehicle to internal power, ground propellant seat. First of the two umbilicals now retracting. We are ready for the launch. T minus 30 seconds. The uh, second umbilical now retracting, initiating auto sequence start. We have main engine ignition, engines and turbo pumps up to flight speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight. And liftoff. 50 years after a small step for man, the Soyuz rocket and its multinational crew take a giant leap off the launch pad bound for the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The nighttime sky is creating a halo-like effect as the Soyuz arcs to the northeast away from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in pursuit of the International Space Station. Forty seconds. The spacecraft, the vehicle, are nominal and they're stable. Copy. Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur, punching a hole through the clouds overhead. Good engine performance being reported. 60 seconds in, your pitch roll are nominal. Structural All uh, structural parameters reported to be in excellent shape. A good view inside uh, MS-13. Alexander Skvortsov at the bottom of your screen, at the top of your screen, Luca Parmitano as we stand by for first stage separation. Yes, the jettison is confirmed. The launch, the launch shroud has now been jettisoned, and now we're seeing a view from a camera on the second stage of the uh, Soyuz rocket. We will no longer see in-cabin views. Uh, that uh, external camera activated by Alexander Skvortsov uh, from a uh, button on his control panel. But a great view of looking down uh, the Soyuz uh, booster. Again, this view from a second stage camera on the Soyuz rocket. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, everything proceeding normally.